because I want to share with you how to do it, what kind of techniques here. Okay, there is different types of investing strategies. And uh, what do we need? Some of us will think that we need uh, cash to start investing. Some of us will think that we need a house, great house, to start investing, some of us will, will think about something else. But technically, this is three things which we realistically will need. And it's toolbox with buying techniques. And this is, we're gonna focus on that because uh, if you you know wanna be successful, you need to know what kind of strategy to use in a different case, okay? Now, we need to have motivated seller and we need to have solid exit strategy. So this is what we're gonna talk today about, all right? So what kind of buying techniques? This is which I came came out with, probably there is few more. Now I wanna talk about detail, in, in detail about each of these strategies, okay? Short set. What is short set? In a few words, it's just when somebody owe more than their house worth, and right now it's exactly the situation in the market, there is many houses like that and you cannot do anything technically. Uh, you can do mod modification or you can just short sell your house. Now, that's mean that bank approving it and they just wanna get rid of it. They don't wanna get it, let it go in foreclosure. Okay, is there is any questions about short, short sale? This is just general, again, we're not going into detail how to do it and what to do, but uh, idea is short sale is a house when it's worth more uh, when they owe more than it's worth, okay? So, in the future, maybe, when you would talk to the, you know, potential seller, you can see right away, okay, maybe this is the best idea here to use a short sale technique, okay? And you can speak freely with customers saying, hey, you know, from your situation, I see that this is probably what's gonna work for you well, okay? When property going to bank, uh, back to the bank, it's gonna go to the auction. I would say it's automatically, I think, right? Uh, the problem is, if it's upside down, nobody gonna buy it because, you know, people come in there with cash, they wanna, they wanna have a good deal. They stay on the steps usually at the courthouse looking for, you know, some good deals. Now, if the property worth right now 100,000 and bank asking for 200,000, it doesn't make sense. So if nobody buying it, it goes ba back to the bank. Now, if it goes bank back to the bank, it's gonna be called REO, real, real estate, estate home, okay? And you probably have seen it like a lot lately on the market. Now, this is where we get into something which you might haven't heard that much. And this is one of the techniques is subject to. And I really love this technique because here, when you can technically buy without your cash and without your credit, you can create specifically deal where you technically don't, don't have to use any of your money at all, okay? What's gonna happen? You're gonna buy property from somebody, but you're gonna leave in place their mortgage. So you're gonna be on a deed, you're gonna be the owner of the property, but their mortgage gonna be in place and you're gonna pay for it, okay? So there is, you don't have to have credit history at all because their credit history already there. It's already in place. This is great technique and one of the unique techniques which you can use every day. The problem is not that many people, again, have some equity in houses where we can you know, tap in and you know possess it obviously but great situation to buy subject to when it's paid off like let's say mostly and for some reason let's say person was fired and they're not able to cover you know expenses so it's going to be uh foreclosed but in this case they can come in evaluate take a look if it's you know worth it and they can offer subject to so they're going to take over the payments and what's good about it people can some of the people can be uh, behind the payments if they get in behind the payments, they get in note, and that's it, they know that they're a direction to, to go into foreclosure. 
So in the future, we will discuss in details how they get in note, uh, how many days we have left after that to structure the deal. So again, you can come in and see that, you know, there is some equity still involved in the house and probably we can offer them to buy subject to. Okay, any questions so far? Do you know how to talk to the mortgage company at all? Technically, there is uh, some caveats involved. Bank, if they will find out, they might call it due. Uh, there is a specific language involved where they might like force you because they know that there is a new owner mm -hmm. and because of that they might force you to you know pay it off in full but with the market as it is it's really small chances I mean there is still chances definitely but it's much smaller the reason why the reason why this uh, clause was in, uh, was involved it was created I believe like 15 20 maybe even more years ago when the uh, APR was really high and what was happening uh, let's say I'm buying from you this house and you bought it like 30 years ago and you had I don't know 15-20% APR well maybe low but anyway you got the idea okay like 15% APR now I'm buying from you subject to but right now uh, on the market APR 20% bank wants to have higher you know percentage and that's the reason why they was calling it due so you have to refinance it. what's happening right now it's opposite people who was buying it five years ago they had probably seven eight percent right something like six percent probably and if you're gonna look right now uh, if somebody gonna refinance they're looking for what four five percent so it's opposite technically for bank it's it doesn't work anymore uh, you know to, to do that right now banks just yeah it's so desperate for money they just be happy if they're gonna know it's not gonna go to foreclosure yes yes another strategy it's lease option again how do you, how do you insure that property <coughs> good question uh, there is two possibilities to insure this property let me go back one possibility is uh, to do double insurance so you live in place wherever is there right now uh, for owner of the property and you make a new insurance so you're paying double this is minus you don't want to do that another option you can place this uh, title in a uh, trust in this case uh, technically there is much more details involved but bank not gonna see it you, you can put it in trust, you can do, do yourself trustee, right? This is how it works, or you, you don't know details? Yeah, I would do that. You, you can do it? Okay. I okay. do it. Yeah, and it works fine. So technically, bank not going to see that there is a new person. Usually, they got a trigger when it's coming from insurance company. This is like their trigger for them that there is a new owner when you get a new insurance. And they can see, hey, there is a new owner involved. Okay? What? when you do that what we tell them is we're doing this for estate planning purposes yes estate planning purposes so it's like if you were making me your trustee it's kind of like saying well i'm not handling my estate properly so i'm giving this estate to this trustee to manage it properly for me and this is all legal you know and, and that happens. There's, there's a lot of people who don't manage their affairs properly. So the bank doesn't say, oh, something's going on. They just say, oh, Alex, this person isn't handling it. It might be not enough ink okay. there. So there's a new, new one. All right. And we're going to uh, talk again in detail. On one, one of our seminars, we're going to discuss all details about that, how to structure it, how to put it in a trust. Uh, how to create actually trust uh, what else involved there and it's not that difficult but of course there is many details which need to be discussed right now our target is just to find out what kind of strategies we have available okay in our toolbox lease option this is another option for us to buy it the difference between